A petition letter and signed forms by over 100 Fijian British Army veterans were handed to the newly appointed British High Commissioner to Fiji today. British Army veteran Ise Vono says they are voicing their concerns regarding the introduction of the United Kingdom's visa fee policy. Chasai Nanunga has more. Uh, as well. okay. Isei Vono says the policy has left the immigration status of ex-soldiers in the UK in limbo and has been a barrier for them to re-entering the forces. So now uh, we expect the commissioner to, for that petition to be handed into, uh, into parliament to has our, has our campaign from Fiji uh, in support uh, for the eight soldiers fighting for on behalf of the serving and uh, uh, the veterans uh, and their families. Retired British Army veteran Romano Nadeva says this policy was not enforced during the term of engagement in the 1960s. He claims the improper dissemination of information from relevant authorities in the UK has raised fear for the few ex-veterans who might be facing unemployment-related issues and possible deportation. We were a colony. Now, we are independent. We run our own affairs and not like in the olden days. Eh? Right. And then after nine years, if you want to extend, I extend it. But you have to, before they let you sign, you have got to be a good soldier. And I was one. Also present this morning was the emotional mother of Tetusi Ratu Valvau, who is currently undergoing surgery and is among the eight veterans spearheading the campaign in the UK. High Commissioner George Edgar, while accepting the petition, said he will respond once he receives clarification from his government. Chosei Yenanunga, FBC News.